My name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this week's question, I've been asked how I can create a cosmetic thread within SolidWorks. Obviously a cosmetic thread is when we just want to see an annotation on the model, uh, but we don't actually want to create any geometry. We can actually access the cosmetic thread feature from the insert menu, under annotations, and you'll find cosmetic thread under here. Now in the thread settings box, the first thing we need to do is actually choose the edge on which we'd like the thread to go. And then if we'd like, we can actually choose where we want the item to start. We can then choose the specific size for this item. So I could choose uh, the size I'd like the thread to be and how far I'd actually like it to run down the model. You can either have it actually running up to next through all, so it goes through the entire model, or you can have it going blind and you could actually type in, say, um, 10 mil in this model. should then run down the design as far as 10 mil and go up to that face. Now having done that, another way to get cosmetic threads in that you might be interested in is by using the hole wizard feature. If it's for the internal uh, thread inside of a hole, there is actually a straight tap option within the hole wizard. Within here you can actually choose uh, to have a thread included with the cosmetic thread callout actually added in the drawing. I'll just quickly add this onto my model. You can see that's also added a cosmetic thread. When we've actually added cosmetic thread features, the items actually sit underneath the features on which they're added in the design tree. I think the only other thing we're showing in this video is just what happens when we come to create a drawing from this item. So I'm just going to create a very quick drawing here. I'll insert uh, just a drawing view of this item. You can see the thread actually showing up in the drawing. Now if it's an external uh, cosmetic thread that you've actually applied here, you can actually right click to insert callout and that way you can bring through the callout information. If it's an internal thread inside of a hole, the best way to do it is to actually use the whole callout tool, which is just the same as adding intervention. So hopefully that explains how to add cosmetic threads within SolidWorks. Thanks very much for watching.